Hello there sexy gamers and welcome back to Pure Play TV for another video review and today we're looking at Handball 21 out now for PS4, Xbox One and PC. The version we've tested is the PS4 version of the game running on PS4 Pro and a code was provided by the publisher. I've never actually played a game of handball in my life. Where I grew up, in rural Wales, football and rugby were the main sports as well as shearing sheep. And yes, we only sheared them mostly. Handball is a relatively new sport that's been gaining ground in Europe over the last few years, but it's not very mainstream and you will struggle to find a match being played on terrestrial TV. So for the most part, handball is an unknown sport. Before we carry on with this review, please do us a favour and hit the like and subscribe buttons down below, as well as the bell icon so that you're the first to know when we've got new stuff. Cheers my dears! Handball 21 aims to replicate the thrills of throwing a mini football around a basketball sized pitch. As I've never actually played handball, I'm not sure how it translates. For the purpose of this review, I did watch a thrilling match between France and Denmark, but I'm still no expert on the sport. What I can say is that Handball 21 is very, very awkward to play, and it's probably not the best introduction to the sport if you're a newcomer. The controls are mostly fine, with simple passes and shots being easy to pull off. The real issue comes with the flow of play, or should I say, the lack of it. Each match starts with a throw off. From here you pass the ball amongst your players, while the opposition holds the defensive line outside the goalkeeper's area. You've got to figure out how to squeeze a shot off amongst the mass of bodies to score a goal. Simple enough, and this part of the game was actually okay, if a little bit uninspired. But once you've taken your shot and the ball is in the opposition's possession, the tables flip and you're now defending, and this is where the ball aches began. To defend, you've got a few different controls, with each button instigating an action, whether that's block, shove, or rush, or more. Simple stuff then, but you also have complete control over the defensive line, shown in-game by the left stick icon. You drag this across the area and your dudes will move with it. If you want to control just one man and get him to do an action, you need to move the cursor to line up with his body, and then you can order him to do something. It's weird and it didn't sit right with me, but with the way handball is actually played in real life, I can't see how it could have been done any better. So, fair play to the developers for coming up with something, it's just a shame that it's not all that great. What is great is the goalkeeping, not because it works really well, but because the goalie may as well have been sat in the crowd watching with everybody else, for all the good he was. It's not unusual to see dozens of goals scored in a game of real life handball, and that's the same in Handball 21, but I'm convinced it's because every goalie has had a little line and a cheeky toke before each game. When the opposition takes a throw at goal, you get a chance to save by flicking the right stick in the direction shown on screen, and then you can pair it with a button press for a light save or a heavy save. Nine times out of ten, it wouldn't matter. The goalie would do a spazzy jump with his arms and legs thrown out wild while the ball moseyed on into the net. He was useless. Or I was useless controlling him. Either way, I got some good laughs out of my coked up keeper, but it didn't help me win any matches. In fact, I never actually won a single match. The only way I could win was by simulating a match. Am I just total shite at Handball 21? Or is Handball 21 just total shite at being a handball game? I can't say for sure, but I'm willing to go halves and accept my portion of the blame. If you are interested in handball as a sport, my recommendation would be to go and find a local group to play with. When you're actually allowed to be in groups, that is. Handball 21 doesn't leave a great impression, at least not on newcomers. Seasoned handball fans who have suffered through the previous games, you've got a new game to play this year, with lots of real life players and teams, and this game has been made for you and absolutely nobody else. Enjoy it, you bloody weirdos. And that's the end of this review. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful in some way. If you did, please do like and subscribe and maybe even drop a comment down below if it's nice. I've been Chris, you've been gorgeous, and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, bye!